Hi everyone, how are you guys doing today? I'm sure everybody is doing great. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how I draw dark hair. But first, I have to warn you, this isn't a hyperrealism art, where I teach you how to draw every individual hair. But I'm playing with value here. And I'm going to show you how I use my tool to help me create what looks like smooth, long, dark hair. But when you see it up close, well, it looks like a drawing. This is very easy and more fun. So, to draw dark hair, you need dark pencil, of course. I'm using my usual 8P from Stadler. Small brush. This is my most crucial tool. Rubber eraser. Needed eraser, optional. And Tombow Mono Zero, also optional. First thing we want to do is to sketch the entire hair. So, think of the hair as three different values highlight middle and dark value that's it just three basic values i'm going to mark down the placement of those values and then without worrying about the highlight i'm going to darken the entire hair with 8p focusing on the dark value i mean dark value gets dark everything else gets middle value So at this stage, the dark value doesn't look dark, and it doesn't look smooth. That's what the brush is for. So everyone keeps asking me what is this brush I'm using. Well, this is just a cheap small flat brush used for watercoloring for kids. Nothing special, right? As you can see, everything looks darker. So now, we're going to build up our second layer. I'm going to darken the dark value even more, and I'm going to smooth out the middle value with my pencil. And at this stage, I don't care much about the highlight, guys. So you see, the hair is made of many layers. Don't try to render the hair with just one layer, that's not how it works. I can go as many as five layers when it comes to hair. And the more I think about it, basically, I feel like I'm cleaning up my messes from my previous layer. Okay, so that's our second layer. It doesn't look smooth. Guess what? I'm going to use the brush again to smooth it out and make it even darker. Rinse and repeat this process until you get the desired level of darkness. Thank you. 
for the hair and skin border, it's crucial to use a sharp pencil. The sharper it is, the cleaner it will look. And I love to render the forehead at the same time with the hair. This way, I can connect the border smoother, so it doesn't feel cut out. So at this point, basically it's 80% done. I'm going to darken the rest of the hair first, and then I'm going to show you how I create the highlight. Okay, so it's been 4 hours, so in order to make everything look smooth, you need to inspect everything. So for instance, this area here, this is too light, so let's go ahead and make it darker with my brush. First, I'm going to give it some graphite, so that we have something to work with. That's it guys, don't need too much. And then, going to spread the graphite with my brush. That's done. Now I'm giving it some texture. So I'm thinking I'm going to draw some narrow dark lines here. One or two should be enough. So you see, these narrow lines text us the hair texture. And I see another problematic area here. Can you spot it? This area is darker than here. 
So this is easy. Either I darken this area or I lighten this area. I'm going to show you how I lighten a dark area with my knitted eraser. So first, we make our eraser pointy and just tap lightly to lift some of the graphite. and constantly check if the value matches already. So that's done, now onto the highlight. And now it's time to use my Tombow Mono Zero. If you don't have this eraser, you can definitely use a regular eraser, just like this one. This works just fine, although it'll be a bit more difficult because it's less precise. Sorry if my hand is blocking the view guys, just trying to make a point here. You see, I can raise it just fine, although as I said before, it's less precise. Okay, so this rubber eraser is very strong, so we have to knock it back after using it. Once again, sorry if you can't see this, just need to fix this real quick. With the Tumbo Mono Zero, it feels this is much easier. You see how precise it can be. I'm in full control. I'm not going to give highlight to the whole hair. Just a few here and there. Just the most important one.
Okay, so this is it. How I draw dark hair with graphite. So let me know what you guys think. I think it's pretty much convincing. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys. Because I'm gonna upload the entire time lapse of this drawing. So don't miss it. And see you soon.